the fact that he's a bulldog and she's a chicken and they've bonded, I think I've just learned that these special friendships, these unlikely friendships can just develop where you're least expecting it. I just never would have thought that two animals that I've had the chance to adopt are now best friends. Hi, my name is Chandler and I am the proud owner of Gus and Lucky. Gus is an English Bulldog and Lucky is my pet chicken. We introduced Lucky to Gus without a whole lot of planning or forethought involved. We kind of just set her down. You could tell she was kind of on high alert. She didn't recognize what he was, but it wasn't long after that she started to figure out that he was not going to bark at her or chase her or hurt her, and she slowly began to trust him. Chickens naturally want to be with flocks of other chickens and with other animals. I don't think they're meant to be by themselves. So she just started to gravitate to wherever he was going. If he was getting water, she would want to go investigate and see what that was. And she became very curious about him and just started to find this level of comfort by having him around. Most of the time he would be sleeping and she felt safe enough just to snuggle with him or lay near him. I think at that point she just didn't feel alone anymore. And that's kind of how it blossomed. And thankfully he has never been aggressive with her. So it's just continued to grow from there to now where she wants to be with him. Anywhere he goes, she goes. If he is barking at something, she will start clucking. <laughs> She's learning to be a dog, I think, actually. She loves him and just has no fear of him. Don't use the chicken to get more food. Gus and Lucky's favorite things to do together is eat and sleep. <laughs> the third thing that they like to do together is beg for food. <laughs> so if they're not eating or sleeping, they do beg for food together. And I think Lucky has learned that from Gus. Gus loves car rides and we have taken Lucky on a few car rides and surprisingly she does just fine. There's not a lot of times that Gus and Lucky don't want to be together, but being with them 24-7, I can tell when Gus wants a break <laughs> from this chicken that is in love with him. He is just sitting there and she's all in his face, just looking at him and examining him. There are times when Lucky really wants to snuggle with him and she will slowly get closer and closer to him. And if she gets too close, meaning like touching, he'll get up and leave. He's not a snuggler. But she's never annoyed by Gus. It's just Gus sometimes getting tired of having a chicken in his face. <laughs> What makes Gus and Lucky so special? They both had challenging beginnings. Gus's history and his story and how he ended up in rescue is apparently the family that first owned him did not take care of his tail and his tail got infected, which can happen with bulldogs. And instead of having his tail fixed, they just turned him into rescue. So it was just a typical bulldog maintenance issue that got him turned into rescue. And we, we did find out that the two other families that had him before us had brought him back because he was a little too rambunctious, which he was when he was younger. And so they, they brought him back. Lucky came into our lives. It was a very, very special situation. She was actually owned by my dad. My parents live out in the country and she was in a group of about 15 or 20 other chickens that he had. And we had gone out to visit him and he was telling me about needing to downsize. And I noticed Lucky, she is a special needs chicken. She was born with a twisted neck and kind of a lazy eye and she walks funny and she's smaller than the other chickens. And I just knew that if my dad sold her with all of the other chickens, she wasn't going to make it. She was on the bottom of the pecking order and was picked on constantly. So I told my dad that he could not sell her. And I said, I'm taking her home with me. My dad passed away in 2020. When he passed away, he went into hospice out at the farm where my parents lived. And I took Lucky with me. 
and I would always take her in every morning to see my dad. And he would just laugh about the fact that here's this little chicken who used to live in his chicken coop and is now staying in his guest bedroom. So there's a very special bond there now that I don't have my dad any longer, but I still have Lucky. What inspired me to put their friendship online is actually I was sharing photos of them on my personal Facebook page and people kept telling me how much they loved seeing them together and that they needed their own page. And as soon as I did, it just blew up. From there, I've wanted to do more because I just see how happy they make people. When people tell me I was having a really bad day, but a Gus and Lucky video popped up and now I'm smiling. I just realized at that point, the more I can share them with people and the more that they can make people smile, then I will continue to do that. I think Gus and Lucky's friendship brings joy to people because it's just something so simple yet so sweet that people just enjoy seeing this bulldog and chicken have these happy little lives together and they make people laugh because it's just such an odd friendship. People are shocked by it at first, but then they just fall in love with them for the same reasons that we have. What you see online is them. It's their daily lives. It's their true interactions with each other. Lucky's not gonna help you get more food. Looking back, I could have never imagined just how special these two have become to me. And my husband will say, after a bad day or if I've had a bad day, my husband will say, well, hey, at least we still have Gus and Lucky. And he's right, no matter you know what kind of day I've had, the stress or you know whatever we've gone through, I still have this awesome bulldog and this sweet little chicken who make me smile and laugh and just forget about all the hardships in the world, which are a lot right now. Gus and Lucky are better together because not only have they enriched each other's lives, they have brought so much joy and happiness to my life and my family's life. And then that has spread to bringing joy and laughter and happiness to everyone who follows them on social media that I don't think would ever happen if I was just sharing my bulldog or sharing my chicken. Them together is special and unique and the happiness they bring to everybody is something that I could have never expected and something I'm so thankful for.